Alice Athena. Mm. Everyone should realize that probably what that f sculptural frieze that's so beautiful describes may involve some human sacrifices. Um, Athenian imperialism wasn't all that pretty even under Pericles. So. The, the great cultural project, in other words, may very well be to rescue what we have of <clears throat> the art and aesthetic of, of religion while discarding the supernatural. And, and I think acknowledging the evil that was part of its creation in the first place. Mm. That is, we can't condone the beliefs and practices of those Aztecs, but no. we can stand in awe of and want to preserve their, architecture. their architecture mm. and many mm. other features of their culture, but not their practices and mm. not their beliefs. I, I once did a British radio program where yeah. called Desert Island Discs, where you have to go on and choose your six records which you take to a desert island and, mm -hmm. and talk about it. And one of the ones I chose was Bach, Marke dich mein Herz oh, yeah. it's, it's wonderful, wonderful, Beautiful, sacred uh, yeah. music. And the, the woman questioning me couldn't understand why I would wish to have this piece of music. It is beautiful music, and its beauty is indeed enhanced by knowing what it means. Yeah. And it's a, yeah. it, it, yes. But, but it's, you still don't actually have to believe it. it it's like reading fiction. Exactly. You, can, you can lose yourself in fiction. Mm and be totally moved to tears by yeah, it. Yes. But, but nobody would ever say you've got to believe that this person existed and, mm. and that the yes. sadness that you feel yes. uh, really yes. reflected something that actually happened. Yes, like the Bishop of Dublin who preached a sermon against Swift and said that he'd read every book of Gulliver's Travels and for his part he didn't believe a word of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that's the yes. locus classicus, <laughs> I think, of all that. Well, clearly, we're not cultural vandals, but maybe we should think of uh, the way in which so many people suspect that that's what we are. Hmm. Yes. If I would accept one criticism that these people make, or one suspicion that I suspect they harbor, or fear that they may have, I think that might be the one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. That it would be all chromium and steel and um, yes, and very no Christmas so. carols and no and, yes. and, and, and no menorahs. They, they no couldn't possibly anybody who makes that criticism couldn't possibly have read any one of our books. Yes. No. Uh, um, well, that's another which, problem, too, isn't it, problem. is that is the people that, of course, this isn't just our books, it's so many books. Uh, yes. uh, uh, people don't read them, they just read the reviews, and then they decide that's what it is. We're about to have the Christmas Wars again, of course, and um, this being the last day of September, um, yeah, you can feel it all coming on. But I always, whenever, whenever I, it comes up, when I go on any of these shows to discuss, I say it was Oliver Cromwell who cut down the Christmas trees and forbade... Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, was the, it was the Puritan Protestants, the ancestors yeah. of, the, yeah. of yeah. the American it's fundamentalists. The, it's said, the Bami and Buddhas would be again. blasphemy. Yeah. 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 Do, do at least respect your own traditions, because I do. Yes. I think yes. Cromwell was a great man in many, in many other ways as well. Right. This is actually a pagan festival. Well, we were all outed um, with our Christmas trees last yes, year. Yes, we yeah. had a. Our, did I you have see not that? the slightest problem yeah. with Christmas no, no, trees. No, 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 we had our Christmas card with our yeah. pictures of us. It's a good old Norse booze up. And, and why the hell not? Well, but it's not just that. I mean, we. I have like a, solstices as much as the next person. We we have we have a an annual Christmas carol party where we sing the music and we and and all the music with all the words and, sure. and not not the secular and, and Christmas why stuff. Why not? Yes. And it's just glorious stuff. Yeah. That part of the Christ, of the Christian story is fantastic. Yeah. It's just a beautiful tale, yeah. uh, 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 and you can love every inch of it. I, I, once, at, I once at lunch was next to the lady who was on uh, one of our opponent at that debate in London. Rabbi Neuberger. Rabbi, Rabbi Neuberger. <coughs> and she asked me whether I said grace in, in New College when I happened yes. to be senior fellow. And I said, of course I say grace. It's a matter of simple courtesy. And she was furious. Oh, that, really? That I, yes. That I should, that I should um, somehow be so hypocritical as to, as to say Grace, and I had a, could only say, well, look, it may mean something to you, but it means absolutely nothing to me. This is this is a, a Latin formula, which which is, has some history, and I and I appreciate history. Freddie Eyre, the, the the philosopher, also used to say grace, and what uh -huh. he said was, I won't utter falsehoods, but I have no objection to uttering meaningless statements. Yes, <laughs> 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 that's yeah. right. He, uh, yeah. the Wickham professor. Yes, the Wickham logic, professor. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, did we answer your question on Islam? 
Uh, I don't know. I think it's, well, I, I'll ask a related question. Do you feel there's any burden we have as critics of religion to be even-handed in our criticism of religion? Or is it fair to notice that there's a spectrum of religious ideas and commitments and Islam is on one end of it and the Amish and the Jains and, and others are on another and, and there, there are real differences here that we have to take seriously? Well, of course we have to take them seriously, but we don't have to do the network balancing trick all the time. There are plenty of people taking care of pointing out the good stuff and the benign stuff, and we can acknowledge that and then concentrate on the problems. That's what critics do. And, it, and again, it's, if we were uh, uh, writing books about the pharmaceutical industry, would we have to spend equal time on all the good they do? Or could we specialize in the problems? And uh, I think it's very clear. We I think Sam's asking but more but about But we could it. criticize yeah. Merck if they were especially egregious as opposed to some other company. I mean, we, we, if we were focusing on the pharmaceutical industry, not all pharmaceutical businesses would be, the, would be culpable in the same yeah, way. Yeah, right. Well, and yeah. so... Then the question is, what the, sh should we? Is there something wrong with? No, you're, I think you're talking across purposes. No, I think, no, I think no. Sa Sa Sam's asking about whether we should be even-handed in criticizing the different no, religions. It, no, yeah, you're talking about even-handedness about good versus bad. And, whether all religions yeah. are equally bad. Yes. Right. So that, whether question. whether Islam yeah. is worse than yeah. Christianity or, or I mean, It seems to me that we're we we fail to enlist the the friends we have on this subject when we. Mm -hmm. balance this. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's, it's a tactic, it's, it's, a, it's a media tactic, and in some sense it's a, a um, almost an ontological commitment of atheism to say that all faith claims are in some sense equivalent. You know, the, the media says that Muslims have their extremists, and the, we have our extremists. We have jihadists yeah. in, in the Middle but East, and we have an all, you know, there. people who there's kill them, abortion yeah. no, no. doctors. Yeah. And it's just not a, yeah. a, a real yeah. equation. I yeah. mean, the, the, the right. mayhem that's going on under, under the aegis of Islam is just cannot be compared to the fact that we have you know, two people who a decade kill abortionists. Um, and, and so I think we, uh, my commitment, I mean, this is one of the problems I have with the concept of atheism, is I just think it, it, it hobbles us in this discourse where we have to seem to kind of spread the the, the light of criticism equally in all directions at all yeah. moments, and 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 f and I think we could, uh, on any specific question, have a majority of, of religious people agree with us. I mean, a majority of people in this country, yeah. in the United States, clearly agree that the doctrine of martyrdom in Islam is appalling and not benign and liable to get a lot of people killed and worthy of criticism. Um, likewise, the doctrine that souls live in petri dishes. Uh, even Christians, even 70% of Americans, don't want to believe that in light of the promise of stem cell research. Uh, so it seems to me w once we focus on particulars, we, uh, we have you know, a real strength of numbers, and yet when we stand back yeah. from the ramparts of atheism and say, it's all bogus, we lose 90% of our neighbors. Well, that's, I'm sure that's, that, that's yeah. right. On the other hand, um, my, my concern is, is actually not so much with the with the evils of religion as whether it's true. Yeah, and yeah. I, I really do, I and mean, I pa care passionately about that the, the fact of the matter is there as a matter of fact a, a supernatural creator in this universe. And I, and I really care about that. Yeah. And so, although I also care about the evils of, of religion, I, I'm, I'm prepared to be even-handed because they all make this, yeah. this uh, claim, which seems to me Upfront, equally, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, would, mm. I would never give up the, the claim that all religions are equally false. And for that reason, because they, they're forced by preferring faith to reason, latently at least, equally dangerous. But e equally false, but, but surely not quite equally dangerous. Because of no, latently I think so, because, the, maybe, yeah, yeah. because of the surrender of the mind. Yeah. Uh, the surrender of the mind, yeah. the, 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 the eagerness to discard the only thing that we've got that makes us higher primates, the faculty of reason. That's always yes. deadly. And always, and if, if, 